Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another word of the day. And today's word is priority. And the definition of that is a thing that is regarded as more important than another. And that just simply says, what is it that you put first? Like, what is the thing that you put first? And for me, um, it's God. Like I put God first and through God, I'm able to become better. I'm able to face fears. I'm able to step out on vision and on purpose into the unknown because of his faith. I'm able to be a better mother. You know, I'm able to do all these things through him. And it takes me to be intentional. It takes me to prioritize. It takes me to put time on the side to read my Bible. It takes me to sit down and and pray and look inward, look at myself and have self awareness to say, you know, I need help in these areas. You know, I'm falling short in these areas and ask for help and be willing to step out and walk in that truth and walk in that surety that you know that God will provide some in some somehow, some way. So what is it that you're prioritizing? Because I think a lot of times we, we put others first. We put the world first. We Put what other people feel, what other people think, or what's trending, or Facebook, or Instagram, or our plans and everything. And we get so lost in the system that we don't even realize that we have given up what we were called to be, to just be conformed to the world. So let me give y'all scripture in this Romans 12 and 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And it's just saying, don't be conformed by the world. Don't let the world dictate how you should look, how you should act, what is beautiful, you know, when you should be married, what success is. And I think that's what gets us lost. And that's what brings the depression and the stress because we're comparing our creator and what he called us to do so what the world is pushing on us. And it's not about what the world thinks. The world is fickle. It's always something new. It's always trending. Was in today on Monday will be played out on Wednesday. So it's like you have to let God come, like change your mind. Be transformed by the renewal of God so that you can discern the will of him. You want to be able to discern because maybe what you're doing right now, it works for the world. Like say you may be in a career that works for the world because when you tell somebody, you know what, I'm a doctor and they shake your hand and they respect you because you quote unquote has made, you know, has have made this success. And now you appear to be, you know, what you what the world expect you to be. But yet God is calling you to ministry or God is calling you to build your own business. But yet the world makes you feel like you're supposed to have this type of money and all it, you know, it's just all of these extra things that doesn't add up to your whole purpose. You know, the world, this American dream, how can we all, is over a billion people in this world. How can over a billion people fit in this so-called American dream? We wasn't called to fit in. We was called to stand out. You was called to be an individual. So God is telling you in this scripture, like, don't be conformed by this world. Don't let what the world place on you be your truth, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you can know that you can discern what is the will of God. So you can know what's perfect and you can know what's acceptable because it don't have anything to do with this world. It, it don't. So everybody who's out there and they chasing what the world wants for you, or you don't even know, or you probably having this extra stress and this anxiety, sit back and say, what are my priorities? Like, what am I prioritizing? Am I putting the world first and then God second? Am I putting the world first and then what I desire second? Am I worrying about what other people think about me? Am I worrying about what other people say about me? Like, am I putting the will of God first? Like, am I allowing him to renew and transform the spirit of my mind? So I just pray that, you know, we all get better at prioritizing and we all get better at focusing on the will of God and not with the world, the propaganda that the world is trying to push on you to think and to feel because you will never, you will never fit. You will never be enough if you have to base who you are and 
why you were created on the world because the world say you, you know you're supposed to marry your high school sweetheart you're supposed to travel all over the world you're supposed to have so many x amount of money you're supposed to have 2.5 kids you know you're supposed to be this and that and that and this and it changed daily and moment to moment and you're trying to please the people you got to look a certain way you got to act a certain way this is beauty this is ugly this is poor this is rich all of these labels that just create separation is it's just it creates us to be separated they make our priority separation it, it just separates us we don't get a chance to come together because well if we realize that it's only one spirit and one love with many gifts then we wouldn't even need to have the world to tell us what it is that we need to be because we are already be under the influence of god so where is your priorities? Like what what are you prioritizing? What is first? And I believe that's a great question to ask yourself because maybe you're causing yourself extra pain and extra worry because you're putting something external is number one in your life instead of the things that you should be focusing on. Your focus should be internal. Like your priorities should be you and whatever it is that God has placed before you. So I love y'all and um, I'll talk to y'all next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.